so I was, I gotta admit, I was a little bit annoying. Because, like I said, I was, puberty was starting to hit enough, hitting up on me, and I was kind of getting, kind of, I was getting kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I didn't realize it very properly at the time, I was getting kind of, uh, motherfucker, I, I, I was, I was good looking, man. Ad, uh, back in the day. Second road is a quick shortcut to Zelda. And I guess I got a little bit over my head and sometimes I was a little bit annoying uh, by it. I started to, 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 to get a little bit full of myself, I guess, sometimes. And I think that kind of pissed them off a little bit. But I don't remember every... every I don't remember a single situation where I was like... Uh, I, I, I tried to offend any of them, but they kind of didn't like me because they're kids, and I was a kid too, so whatever. But the point is, people at my class, specifically my class, that, that, that there was two, two. In my high school, there were two, two classes from, from the from the specific grade we were like first, first grade, first grade of high school. We have like my my class and another one and that's basically how it followed for the next two years or three years i don't remember but yeah it was three years actually if you don't have a bicycle you're not allowed to use shortcut and my class the dudes from my class were just jerks that was a known fact in my school if you're looking for pokemon i have to look the top you have to look the progress so i kind of got along I, I, I used to kind of get along with them a little bit, sometimes. We, we still got drunk together, sometimes, in high school, but... We weren't, we weren't friends, we were just classmates, and some 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 of the times they, they liked to, to get a laugh out of me. Because I, I didn't confront them, I guess, so I guess it's kind of... It was a free joke for them, so I guess that was it. But... My school was nice. My school was nice. It was a nice, a nice time overall. <clears throat> uh, that was like uh, when was when we were graduating. The the director let us use the the, the schoolyard to fill a lot of water balloons, and we made a water balloon war. At the schoolyard, it was so fucking cool, and I I actually slipped and hit my cocks on the ground. It hurt it so bad, but I was having such a blast throwing fucking water balloons at my classmates and the other the other class too. At some point, we kind of we kind of got together as a class as a as a team. My class got together as a team to beat the other class, and we hacked the shit out of man. It was such a good time. <coughs> Another thing you probably don't have in U.S. Because I I'm assuming that speaking to people in U.S. Like, since you're so strong, it must be fun to battle. I'm assuming I talk to people mostly from U.S. But like, in I guess whatever country you are right now, I think it's not a lot of places where you have religion, a religion class. In my my school, it has this. Cycling road with pills up stars. And my teacher. Wait, the the hill already started here? What the hell? They changed that. They freaking changed that. We're fearless highway stars. Uh, we had this religion teacher, and he was the most. The, the, the craziest person I ever met in my life, I guess. That I, not that I ever met, I don't think he's the greatest person I ever met, but he was the craziest person that I lived with, kinda. Because in school you kind of live with the people you are... <clears throat> you are, you are, you are locked to. I don't, that's, prob that's probably not the, prop not the proper word for it, but... I don't know the proper word for it, but... You know, that person that you kind of see every day, and you are in the same place with him every day, and you kind of stuck for it every day. And he was the craziest person I have to see 
every no, not every day, but like twice a week. Because he was actually uh, he was also a lawyer. So he was teaching religion to us. Not actually need we missed oh he has smoke screen I guess yeah. That's right Amber. Because uh, since he was a lawyer, he was he already made money outside from our school, so the the salary from teacher didn't really meant much from him. He just liked to give religion class because these religion people were just just like to talk about religion. And the craziest shit is close to never the class was about religion. Sometimes he would just make this test with us. This you know this this group test where he like uh let's see who let's vote guys let's let's put up a vote let's that's it would be a fun time let's go and he would put uh, a paper in front of everybody and say that we will secretly reckless driving causes accidents take it easy and he said that we will secretly uh write the name for the thing he would say at the at the moment right he would write he would write a name for a specific thing he would say at the moment and then he would say ah who is the who do you guys think is the prettiest in the class like who is the prettiest girl in the class and then we would write a name everybody would write a name and then who is the handsomest guy in the class i actually won that one by the way that's why i think that was the point everybody started hating me because i was so uh so 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 excited that i won the the handsomest of the class that i got really really loud about it i screamed at my class i can't believe i want that shit i screamed that uh and i think that was the point that the dudes from my class actually started to hate me a little bit like they didn't hate me but they were kind of oh, who, who, who this motherfucker thing he is you know and then i become some sort of a target but the not that they were like, they, they were all the ugliest bastard I ever met in high school too. There wasn't a single one that would escape from it. Now, there were some other, some one or two dudes that were kind of, were kind of, uh, were kind of handsome too, you know. But I think overall was the the most good looking dude over there. Hey, want to have a speed battle? Uh, and that was actually a surprise for me because I didn't saw myself as good-looking at the time. I was fat when I was a kid and kind of short too, but once spirit hit kicked in, I got tall and all the weight I had ended up disappearing, I guess. Uh, distribu I ended up distributing my body. Nowadays I have 100 kilos, but I am 6... I am 6 foot. I think that's I think that's my height now. I am six foot basically. I'm a, I'm one, I am one centimeter taller than six foot, but I am also a hundred kilos. I have no idea how to measure weight in the United States. So you guys have will have to look it up for yourself if you want to know it. But I am basically a tall dude, kind of fat, but not really, because I have some muscles on it. And at the time, I was kind of basically what I am today, but slim. So I was kind of cute. And I was really surprised about it. I was really surprised about it, because I didn't see myself. I'm gonna switch this shit. And, oh yeah, I was talking about the early... I don't know why sometimes I just, I just distort for what I was saying. And like, sometimes, man, those, the, the, the classes for this teacher were just like that. Honestly, this was the class for the day, and it was a blast. This and the teacher from the S, the essay teacher was the best class in school. Even better than, than gym class, I guess. I don't know if you have gym class, is that the name? Where you, where you play soccer or whatever. Because here, here, gym in Brazil, I don't know if you know guys, but in gym class, we don't have we don't have really, don't actually do anything 
other than play the sport we like to play. Like the teachers just throw a ball at us, like throw like here's Brazil, so it's this it's this country of soccer, you know? Hey guys, here's a soccer ball, and then he throws at us, and then everybody starts looking at ourselves and fighting for the ball when they start playing. And it, it's just like throwing a bone to a dog. They would just have a blast by it. Uh so that's basically gym class here and from time to time we have a test where we have to walk uh to 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 run a few one or two a few miles i don't know uh it's actually two kilometers i think maybe it's one mile for you we have to run one mile i guess i don't know yikes you've got awesome torque oh it's poison Hands free, riding is considered cool. Cycling rod. Um, max. We're a sore here, whatever. Hello, dudes. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot, but honestly, I have to address something here. This place makes no sense because this is a slope. And we are seeing the ocean. We can surf here. We can actually surf here, so I guess we're kind of tall from this. Yeah, we cannot surf here, so this is like a bridge now. Hey you, you're from Johto, huh? So I guess they kind of address this point, but in red and blue, this place is basically shouldn't exist the way it is. Because in red and blue, this is just a slope that comes from a place that don't really... It, the, the, the beginning of the cycling road on the top is not taller than future and the, the end of the cycling road. So there shouldn't be a slope, because... Um, you know those, uh, those ramps to indicate that we are going from a taller place to a... Shorter. I won't be able to explain it like that. You just you just have to watch my red and blue review when I'll explain it properly. Find the words for its Oh my god, find a fuckingly. Now we have firepower. Now this guy is good. Looking good, Scully. That's the hell how I want it. Wah. Don't get cocky, you Joto block. <laughs> Damn. Just a little bit of shin alpha bit. Just to, to not forget your origins, you know. But anyways, religion class. I still have si stuff to say. Uh, once this teacher played guitar for us in class and he asked us to sing along. Yeah, yeah, I know. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's a cool bicycle. And this teacher was actually so smelly, man. He was stinky. And he was not dirty or anything. He just wore a stupid cologne that was just the worst thing in the world. You could spot him for miles away, bro. Ah, oh, it was so... Oh. And here in summer, it kind of gets hot. Very hot. In summer. It's, it's basically LA, I guess. If you're from LA, you kind of know it, how hot it is in the summer. Uh, and bro, he sweated so much too. And uh, this guy, he was disgusting, but he was one of the best teachers I ever had. But he was disgusting, man. If I stand in the front row, I knew that I would get spit at least three times in my class. Because he would walk from one side from, from 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 the door to the to the to the wall of the room multiple times and he always spit he always spat multiple times when he was talking and he loved to talk he loved so much talking man god and you know that those persons those the, the, that people that i look cool but i'm weak so i'm not really cool <laughs> i have to train harder god damn it uh those type of people that have this dry saliva on the corner of their mouth that the white dry saliva that never really go away unless you you touch it with your your finger yeah he was that guy and god 
God, he was disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. He always wear this, this brown, brownish, like brown yellow suit, no matter, no matter the time. He would wear that shit. So he was always sweaty, speeding with the stupid cologne and with this dry dry saliva on the corner of his mouth. But he was so fun. He was so fun. He was the best teacher. Cycle road starts here. It's all downhill. It's totally exhilarating. It's a great sort of feeling that you can't get from ship or train. Okay, bro. Okay. Gee, you're so excited. You see, that's what I'm talking about. There ain't no slopes here, bro. You see, there is no... We are not going up here. Because we, we have things to indicate when we are going up on the terrain or not. And uh, there are those ramps. And this place have no ramps, so we are not going up. Bro. It makes no sense that you have this huge slope from, from Saladon to Fuchsia. No sense at all. What's up, girl? Oh, dude, if you cruise down Cycling Road, you will end up in Fuchsia City. Thanks, thanks, bro. I I like more the girl that used to live here. Okay, just for you to know. <coughs> Let's go. Alright, we are in Seldo now, that's our next goal, so let's start talking to people. Looking at the ground while I was walking made me dizzy. <laughs> okay. That's good of you. Felt that you should share that. That's nice. Seldo department store has the biggest and best selection of merchandise. If you can't get it there, you can't get it anywhere. Jeez, I sound like sales clerk. Bro, I can't find stones there, so what's the point? This is my first time here. It's so big. I'm afraid I will get lost. This department store is part of the same chain on the Gold Room City. They were both renovated at the same time. I'm not talking to that clerk. Doesn't have anything good to sell. Oh fuck, here's the glitch again. Calcium. Iron. Elixir. I won't sell the elixir, whatever. What do you have for me? Balls? I'm gonna buy some escape ropes, honestly. Oh fuck, no. Not 31 escape ropes. And some full heals, like just 10 more. I might need some revives here, bro. Where is the revives? Really? You don't have revives in Golden Root? In, in, in department store, really? Oh, you have. Okay, my bad. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Uh, give me like 20. And for hyper potions, more 30. You can give me more revives actually. You can 10 more revives, alright? It's fine. We're finally getting some money in this shit because we stopped sending to mom. My dad's having a hard time learning the names of items and how they are supposed to be used. I just recently became a trainer. My son encouraged me to do it. I'm impressed by the selection of convenience items. Oh, that's cute, man. This this dude, I like I like this when when older people don't think they are limited by their age. That's that that that's fucked up that we we assume they shouldn't try go to college or do stuff like that when you're older because they the age is just a number man honestly unless after you are like 60 or 70 then you're fucked up but the rest of it like until your 30s or even your 40s you're fine the tm shops have some rare moves yeah i'm finally getting a porygon no good at those lots never get enough huh the trade Porygon turned to a different Pokemon. Alright. Who you trade with? Oh, Pokemon. Removing the Porygon from you. Yeah. I can decide which Pokemon I should use this TM on. Yeah. 
Uh, the power varies with the hiding power, boosts fire type moves, sunny day, foils attack, turn it may fail. Foils attack that turn, it may fail. Boosts fire type, rain dance, inflicts damage every turn that's toxic? I think that's toxic. If that's toxic, I'm glad. What was the number really? Cause I really some toxic. Uh, sweet ice punch. Fire punch. Try fire punch. Cut. Where is the move? Inflicts damage every turn. Right, there's not none of this ones. Mm, none of this ones. Sunny days with some snow rain dance for being dig, guys punch swagger. Slipped ah oh, it was sandstorm. Ah oh, that sucks. Who wants sandstorm? Mm, yeah, useless. You don't have knock it's department store, gonna sell so gonna you're gonna have to Tell that this place sucks. This is where the this is the only place where you can buy lovely mail. Whatever, who cares? I'm here to buy surf mail to send my girlfriend. I want to buy some items that raise Pokemon stats, but I don't have enough money. Sucks, suck. What do you have? Okay. I want PP up. I can raise the PP off my moves, but I can't buy it. It sucks to suck. Using items likes make Pokemon happy. He hates certain items though. What's up, my brothers? What's happening? Hey, there's a game here. So wanted to play. I bet my shit with a prize uh, that you never seen that anymore. <coughs> Not even the girls here anymore. This place sucks. It sucks ass. I miss Miss Old Department Store. Miss Old Department Store. Boo. Boo you guys, boo. 